Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you another Monster Legends Guides, where we talk about monsters' moves, their rune sets, partners, all that jazz. Today we are looking at Shaka T, uh, one of the monsters in the mythology event, uh, as part of my mythology series. Uh, so, who is Shaka T? What does he do? All that jazz. Shaka T is a. He's him, actually. I, he actually doesn't really have a real soul place. Uh. Like, you know, usually, you can usually tell by, oh, it's an attacker, or, A, it's a buffer. Uh, with Shaka T, uh, whenever they, whenever they decided to make this thing, they clearly didn't have an idea of what to actually make him. And so they just left him as, you know, they left him at this guy who, uh, you know, he wanted to go to both conventions, uh, but, you know, when he went to one of them, he actually, when he actually decided on where to go, he wind, he winds up as this weird mixture, and it's just, either, either or, wherever place he goes, it's just, feels weird it's not that great it's just weird uh, it's just it just doesn't feel right uh, with this monster uh he's more le i'd say he's kind of more leaning on support but even at that at that point he's not all again he's not all that great i mean like he's he's not he's just, he just feels weird he doesn't feel like he belongs in a specific category uh even as an act, uh, even as an extra guy, he does. He just feels weird. Uh, you can probably put him as an extra guy. I mean, like you could probably he probably is the definition of an extra guy. He's just there to do random stuff or just all that jazz. But uh, yeah, let's just talk about his moves and his stats, and you'll see why. Uh, so his power is three thousand nine. Uh, 3,091. This is obviously a low power, and you're probably thinking, Dib, why would you even say he's mixture? It's clearly his attack is bad, so he's pro most likely a supporter. Well, whenever you use this guy in Timor, he's kind of like, he's, he's, he's both the damage, and he's also not the damage. Uh... And he's yeah, he's just really weird. Again, he's re he's a really weird monster, and he's again he's really like a lot of people consider him to be really bad, and that's totally fine. Uh, he's, he is usable. I'm not saying he's not completely uh, us usable. He's not he's not completely worthless, uh, but you know he has some use. But that's again he's just not as good as other choices. In fact, there's a monster that pretty much does his job, but better. <laughs> uh, so his life is thirty thousand seven hundred sixty-three. This is a very acceptable life, and it's a very beefy life. I mean, like it's really like meaty and stuff like that. But whenever you use this monster, you ever you don't ever feel like it actually has a lot of life. It just feel it's one of those monsters that you use, and it just doesn't feel like it has a whole lot of life or anything really going for it. Uh, it just feels really weird when you use it. Uh, it's the same same kind of deal with the ringer. You don't you you he's a tanky monster. Obviously. The thirty k life is a tanky life, but it's just a, it's just something you never feel like it's tanky. Uh, it's probably because of the fact he doesn't have immunity to stun, freeze, possession, or just anything like that. He's immune to blind. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad trait, but you know, yeah, I think that that kind of if it has a if, no, honestly, if a monster has a really tanky life, uh, it just has a non like immunity to like a restrain move it doesn't feel like a dinky monster uh so his speed is 3311 uh this is a pretty bad speed i'm not gonna lie it actually does not do it justice because it actually needs to rely on speed uh for its moves and stuff like that uh and it's just not there for it it's just not <laughs> i feel like even when you rank this guy up i, I will say that even, even when you rank this guy up once uh i don't even think it was it uh, okay, well, it gets to ex it gets to an acceptable speed, but yeah, uh, I think you gotta. In all honesty, I think if you rank this guy up, he starts to do more. But that's only when you start ranking him up, and I don't even think people are gonna have a whole lot of them. But so yeah, pretty much these are, this is the standard like stats you'll usually see on a player's Shakati. Uh, if they don't rank him up and stuff like that. Uh, third Eye Vision deals moderate special damage to all enemies, gains haste, may slow down all targets, requires no cooldown because it's his ultimate. This is actually pretty nice. If you land, I will say, if you land this, if you actually get this and actually land the slow and the haste on everybody, this is a pretty relevant move. This is a game breaker, I think. Uh, just because you 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 know you're you're moving 20% faster, they're moving 25% slower, so you're gonna get more turns in. You're gonna get more time to beat the crap out of the enemies. If this also works too, if you're if all the other allies are strong too, you know they're all they're all well and sh stuff like that. They can actually take advantage of the extra turns. 
Uh, you, this is pretty much a game breaker, but uh, you can totally win or break a game if you get this ultimate and it actually lands on everything. But again, that's a chance thing, and it's not a high chance. It's like 40% chance for each one. Uh, not really ideal. <laughs> I wish it if it was a 100% chance, then this would be like one of the best ultimates in the game. Uh, just simply because everybody usually runs damage and speed runes, uh, so they'll greatly benefit from these effects of haste and slow. Uh, just greatly. They, they just will. But since, yeah, it's, since it's not a guarantee haste and a guarantee slow, it's just not worth, you know, it's just it's just chance. You, you, get it, you either get it or you don't get it uh, and all that jazz. You might get it on one person, you might not get it on anything. This is, again, it's a chance factor and stuff like that. Uh, none of the f first mo skill group moves are any worth importance, so we're just going to go straight to the skill group too. Uh, Mandala Swing it deals very heavy special damage, it requires one turn cooldown. Uh, this might be a move you might actually have to run just because it's his damage out. Output, it's a damage output move, and when you use this thing, you are using this thing and another monster, more than likely another attacker, uh, and something like that, uh, or like, a, you know, you're denying stuff like that. You kind of have to build a mix with this guy. It's like, you don't want to build a mix with him, but when you look at his moves, they're just not all that great, uh, so you have to build you have to build a mix uh, just to make sure you do damage, uh, you know, just to, because in Team Wars, you want to try and, you know, just actually kill some you need to be able to kill the other monsters uh you need to be able to deny you need to be able to take advantage of his stuff uh with this monster he has the troubles well he's got he's a mixture again he's a mixture of things he can't be one thing because it's just his stats conflict with him he's just it's just a lot of things that conflict with him uh but yeah this is a good move i recommend this move uh karmanic return deals low light damage to all uh enemies removes all negative stats from allies requires a three turn cooldown uh this isn't a good move don't nah, i mean like it's good if there's they're running a lot of debuffs if they're, if they're running the two times debuffs this isn't a bad move if they're running those i will say that this comes really in handy when against like two double buffs or two d double debuffs or something like that bring it to those fights oh man those this move could save you if you don't get stunned or frozen uh uh, because of that this could save you this can this is a safety move uh but that's only if you're not denied and he can actually be denied so this yeah it's kind of, it's kind of hard to use this move but when you actually get to do this then you're going like oh yeah i don't die and stuff like that uh but yeah that's usually what it is uh cosmic energy uh removes 100 percent stamina from target requires cooldown this is his best move i will say this right now this is what makes him himself this is what makes him uh, usable in all sets. He's the only light monster at the moment with the 100% stamina drain. Uh, this is a very great, uh, 100, like just in general, 100% stamina drain is just a really, really just jerkish move. That's the, the worst thing you can literally do to somebody is take all their stamina away. It's literally the worst thing. Uh, besides, you know, chain stunning and stuff like that. You even add, you add salt to the wound if you 100% stam drain, and then freeze them. You If you constantly deny them, they can't recharge. They're not allowed to do anything. They, they're, they're literally done. Uh, so this is what this guy excels at. He can just stam and drain just a single person. And in 2v2 fights, that's pretty relevant. I won't say that. That's too, very, very relevant. Uh, the only, and I mean the only problem with this is it's a single, you know, it's not an AoE thing. If this was an AoE thing, I think people would, like, accept him better or, like, you know, be okay with him more. But it's only a single target thing. Uh, that's, an, that's one of the problems. The other problem is it doesn't do any damage. <laughs> uh, so this is why he's really weird. Uh, because, you know, the one of the you know like when it, you always will run this move this is a move you have to run because it's a great deny skill why would you not run this move uh it's just really valuable and stuff like that uh so you kind of have to build a mix i will say that you kind of have to build a mix between damage and just sustainability uh, you could just do like a bunch of things actually but you you kind of have to run like speed and stuff like that and his base speed is already terrible i will say with this monster you probably have to run two speeds and a strength rune if you're just the average duo player you probably have to do that because you need to take advantage of like the speed buff you know he's okay this is the next thing uh, another thing i'm going to talk about this move next before i talk about anything else is his verdict chant this is uh deals low light damage to all enemies may haste all allies uh, requires cooldown. Uh, he needs like two speed runes. Uh, like just at the moment, uh, due to his like you know poor base speed, he needs he needs that other speed rune to you know take advantage of the haste. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, he needs that. He needs that other, you know, other speed rune because of this. Uh, because if he lands this, this is actually the most. I will say this right now. This is the most common landed haste in the game at the moment. Uh, this is this is just been one that's always like it's not it's not a hundred percent guaranteed, but it's the one that pops out the most. It's the one that lands the most uh, at the moment in terms of landing haste. It's just very constant. You know, it's just a very constant landing of haste. It's a very uh, you know, efficient thing. And if you have like uh, AOE precision, it just makes it even better. If you have like Kalik with this thing, it makes it even better. Uh, blinding Yoga. Uh, this is a single target blind. Blind's target requires cooldown. You should totally put this move on this monster because it's your blind. It's his, like his, besides, besides his stamina drain, this is his other deny move. You need to put this on the monster. Uh, it's not too bad of a move because most people on defense usually put. Uh, general Invarv on defense, and this is honestly, that's honestly when you bring this guy is on General Invarv fights, uh, or like, uh, either General Invarv or, uh, just anything that's not immune to blind, in all honesty, in anything that's not immune to blind, uh, bring it to those fights, in all honesty. <laughs> uh, this is his only other move. Is it a guaranteed chance that it'll protect your monster? No, but it's a 50% more chance you're not gonna get hit or die. Uh, so you should totally run this move. This was, this is meant to protect you and stuff like that. You should totally run it. Uh... Asheram Peace, D target gains double damage, requires cooldown. I normally would totally recommend you to run this move. This is this is one of the reasons why he can't really go main, like just toll on support, like just full on supportive. Yes, it's just... It's because of this. It's just double. Even though this is a really great move, uh, double damage is great. It's really best thing in the game and all that jazz. It doesn't work well on Shaka T for. I mean, like you can give it to an ally too. It's it's just not the best one. I've, if you ever do this, I mean, you just do double damage and stuff like. It's just plain double damage. Uh, it doesn't give any other benefit. I can't clear blinds off uh, your ally if they get blinded. And as you know, uh, light monsters blind. That's the genuine thing. Uh, Fire, I will say Fire Lake Quinn's actually a better buffer than this monster. I've had a lot of, every, any other monster that does buffing is a lot better choice than Shaka T. Uh, just because of a number of reasons. One, for, why Fire Lake Quinn is so great uh, is because he can remove negative effects too when he gives the double damage buff. So if your monster is stunned, if your monster is frozen, he can, he can patch you up. <laughs> uh, Fire Lake Quinn can patch you up. Uh, and stuff like that. Uh, Lux Lux does like gains like double damage and precision. You know, like you can give double damage and precision. And you know, all you guys know, like monsters genuinely blind. People genuinely put General Invarv on defense, and you know just blind stuff is just never a good time. Uh, yeah. Uh, of course you can. There are build you can build around like based on, you can change your build a bit to make this function right. You can you can change the build paths around a bit so that your like your other monster can not only deny but does a substantial amount of damage. Uh, you just kind of have to build around it uh, and all that jazz. All right. So what is the move set you should run with this guy? This is in all honesty, this is the move set I would run. I'd run Mandala Swing. I'd run Blinding Yoga, Cosmic Energy, and. Uh, Ved Vedic chant, Vedic chant. Uh, this is honestly his best kit. It's the uh, takes advantage of virtually everything. He runs. He kind of runs the duo of damage and you know kind of supportive and stuff like that. But that's genuinely about it. Uh, because if you run him at all, if you run him full support, he doesn't really do anything else. He's literally like you. You have you're on a three turn. Co Everything's on a relatively high cool. If you don't build the two damage moves, you're gonna be on a relatively high cooldown. If you just go full support, if you just go karma, karma. Uh, karma Karmic Return, Cosmic Energy, Verdict Chant, or just like, uh, you don't even have to do Karmic Return, but uh, you can do Blinding Yoga, Cosmic Energy, uh, Verdict Chant, and Ashurama Peace. You're not going to be doing anything. It's just not that great. <laughs> it's really, really bad. And I think that's not the best choice, especially if you're the average Joe player. It's just not the best idea. It's really bad. <laughs> don't do not do that. Uh, what you should do is you should do that. You should do, you should pick up both damage moves, and you should pick up the energy drain, and you should pick up the haste. And in all honesty, you should run two speed runes and a damage rune. That's that's the that's the honest like rune rune build I'd have you run. If you want a little more damage, you can run two strings. So you can do that. Uh, his power isn't the best, but you know, 
Yeah, <laughs> I will say if you're just using this guy at a level 100, you need a like a like in order to make like in order to like maximize his damage potential with that two speed and uh, strength rune build, you need a level 10 strength rune. That's that's how bad it badly he needs to be patched. You need one level 10 strength rune to patch this thing, like to use that build like 100% like the be like the biggest potential. You need a hundred like you need a level 10 strength rune uh, just to take advantage of the you know just. You know, just to increase that damage output potential, uh, in all honesty. Uh, this monster is not for beginners. I will say that this monster is not for, like, uh, people that are putting average drill runes on it. You can you can you still use this monster if you, you know, it's, it's just not the best option. Uh, use what you want, regardless of what people say. Uh, I'm just saying, like, at the moment, it's just not the best option. Uh, there's just so many things that counter it, so many things that outrun it. All the light monsters outrun it. Oh, I'll see any. I think uh, like a whole bunch of light monsters outrun this thing without having any care. And uh, in all honesty, uh, Monkey pretty much does his job, uh, but better. Uh, he, pretty, he pretty much does that. He has like a two-turn Mega Stun. He has a hundred percent damage reduction. Does he do like AOE haste? No. Uh, he can do AOE stun resistance. <laughs> he can do that. He can do just a variety of things. He's just universally better than Shaka D. He just he just does, does the the deny roll better, or he, like he does the single target stuff better. He just it just feels better, uh, and stuff like that, uh, you know, and all the other, why, well, it's, it's another situation of why would you use this when there's other, thi like, other, like, this thing exists and stuff like that. For that case, it's either Incognita Demise, uh, you know, the, uh, Queen Lilith, uh, Valgar, there's just a lot of, why use Chaka T when all this other stuff exists, and will increase your chances of getting that third coin a lot easier, uh, and stuff like that, uh, Am I saying you should never use this thing? No, no, I'm just saying, I mean, you can use whatever you want. I'm just saying there are better options. There are, genuinely, there are better options. Uh, he shines in, in all honesty, this guy, I think this, in all honesty, I think this guy shines in 2v2 fights. I think that's where he really shines in. Uh, in all honesty. Or 3v3 fights, I, okay, maybe that, maybe, uh, 3v3 fights. In all honesty, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably say 3v3 fights, because with 2v2 fights, you're relying on the other monster to kill shit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'd say 3v3, bring this guy to 3v3 fights on the attack, that's about it. Don't use him for 2, don't put him on defense for 2v2 fights, it's just, doesn't go, don't do it. <laughs> just don't, uh, it's just not good, uh... But, uh, again, do whatever you want, don't, if you want to do that, go right ahead. I'm just saying it's just not the best option. <laughs> it's not the best option late game, late, late game, unless you actually passed, unless you can actually patch up this guy's stats, there's just way too many better choices. <laughs> this guy needs fixing, uh, in terms of offensive use, it, because he's just a weird, he's just, again, in all honesty, this guy's a really weird monster. Uh, I think this is the weirdest monster in Monster Legends. It's the monster that they didn't know what they actually wanted it to do in the end. Uh, and they just kind of decided to give it really poor offensive stats because, or like the speed stat too, because they didn't, they had, they literally didn't know. They honestly did not know what they wanted this thing to be. Uh, even though this thing is obviously leaning more so towards support, it's just not all the way there, and it suffers from it. It doesn't. It's not. It's not one thing at the end of the day, uh, because there's a lot of stuff that it needs to worry about uh, when you use it for. Because in all honesty, in Team Wars, it's usually two v two fights uh, and all that jazz. <laughs> so he's relying. He is relying on the other monsters to do most of the work. Uh, he's just there to either you know buff and do like mediocre damage. That's really all he's there to do at the end. Uh, so yeah, that's everything you need to know about Shockity. Personally, on the board of how great this guy is, he's second to last. <laughs> and the only reason why he's even second to last is because, uh, uh, they gave Cool Khan, uh, Cool Khan's actually the wor wor at, this is like natural, looking at the, just like the natural stats and traits, uh, Cool Khan just, just like demolished. If his, if in all honesty, if his stats were better and his trait was better, then this guy would be the would literally be the worst, uh, but you know that's that's just the thing. Uh, I I wish I wish Cool Khan was better too. By the way, I, I wish his stats were. If in all honesty, if they fixed the stats and the trait, uh, Cool Khan would be such a great monster. You know, in fact, it was a very uh, original idea too. Or like his like his whole kit was a very good original idea. It's just the fact that they butchered it with the 
uh, stats and the trait. They just gave it really poor stats and trait and all that jazz. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's everything you need to know about Chaka D. I hope this video helps you. I'm sorry if this kind of dis if you wanted to get this monster and you kind of wanted me to agree to say, oh, Dave, you, uh, you must think this monster is really great. I really am sorry about that. Everybody has different opinions and stuff like that. Uh, if you still, in all honesty, if you love this guy, use him. If you love any monster and people think it's just trash and stuff like that, use it. If, use the monsters you love. Don't even listen to anybody else. Uh, this is just like an overall, in a sense of competitive play, this is what this guy really was meant for, was just a competitive axe bag. How good he is compared to everything else in the game at the moment. Uh, that's why you should really look into this guy about uh, and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> I'm Nib the Awesome, and I'll catch you guys later.